welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I have got an absolute great color palette. I'm mixing two paints with TLP colors. I'm doing a blowout like a bloom. Um, just, I love this color combination. I've been practicing on some small tiles, so I'm now gonna put this onto an actual canvas. I'm just gonna do a little 12 by 24, I think. Um, but I'm also doing something different that I don't do with my blooms, even though that's what you should do with your blooms, and I'm taking the concentrator off of my hair dryer, and I'm gonna blow them out the way Karen with Waterfall Acrylics does. So I'm very excited about this. I haven't even tried it yet, so fingers crossed I get a good result. But I think these these colors, you just can't go wrong with the colors, all right? So we'll get down on the count, uh, let's get down on the canvas and we'll get started. I'll explain what colors I'm gonna use. Be right back. Okay guys, so what I've got here is just a little small canvas, a little 12 by 24. But the difference I'm gonna do with my bloom today is I am, of going to use a different blow dryer without an attachment the way Karen with Waterfall Acrylics does. Um, I'm still trying to get my blooms down to the way I like them and kind of mimic what Karen is doing as far as her blow dryer technique. I just like the, the look of a bloom. So I'm going to um, get started here. This is my PPG Multi Pro. This is not a solid white. This is kind of a baby blue color because I scraped some of the paint off of my last canvas off of the table, the paints that were on the table. And so that's the color it made. So I'll tell you the colors as I go. All my mixtures for my paints are going to be in the description box. This first color is Phthalo green. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it out here in a runway kind of style. Hope I don't have to pour this over because that's all of my phthalo. I have to make up some more. My next color is going to be TLP and Parakeet. TLP and Nebula. Iridescent gold from Pebio. A little more down. And my last color is my TLP in emerald. Got a green theme here, if you can't tell. My cell activator is going to be my oxide black. And I'm just going to put it, I think I'm just going to put it down here. Big puddle. High fan, cool. I'm going to blow out straight this way.
Now I do have a lot of pillow paint down here, so this is gonna move really, really easy on the spin. All right, I'm ready for a spin. This is going to make a mess, so I'm gonna put up my board here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Now I like that a lot. Cells and everything are looking really beautiful. Just got to be careful. I don't want to leave too much paint on this because I don't want a lot of crack. I don't want it to crack. Let's go one more time the other way. All right, let's check to make sure there's not too much paint left on the canvas. And there is, it's a little too much. I think I can give one more spin. That might pull some more off. All right, I'm going to bring you guys down. I'll show you up close and then we'll see what this looks like when it's dry. All right, guys. So here we are with the wet result. I love the composition for this. Love these colors together. All right, let's see this one is dry. All right, guys, here we are with the dried results. So this dried absolutely fantastic. I love this color combination. It just blew out really, really great. Kind of a dingy day today. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. So that is the piece. I have put one coat of resin on it, so it has got a beautiful shine. I'm going to put a second coat because like with all resin, when you're doing a canvas, it kind of tends to pull away from the sides. So another coat will get that taken care of. But look at how this thing dried. Look at the shine. The parakeet is mixing in with the nebula. Really, really beautiful. I'm so happy with this piece. So I'm super, super excited to tell you guys that my website is now up and running as well as my shop. You can go to my website, studio15acrylics.com. You can head over to the shop section and I will have, I think I've got four or five pieces that are loaded there. 
um, and I'm going to be adding more pieces as I get them done and get them photographed and all that. So I'm very, very happy about getting my website up and running. So if you want a piece of my art, you can buy it through the site. Or if you want, you can just directly message to me and we can work it out that way too. So thank you, everyone. Everyone have a great rest of the week and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Angela. Angela. Tito, no. And no. Good night.